It's been stated, I think it was the New York Times had an article and they, they declared that the veterinary profession was the whitest profession in the country. Uh, and there's definitely truth um, to that. Um, we, we have a diverse profession in one way, we don't have a diverse profession in terms of, of ethnicity um, and races, um, and it's improving. And if you look at the statistics that the AAVMC has put out, um, the, the number of of underserved um, minority students is increasing and with that the number of underserved minority veterinarians is increasing but it's still much lower much much lower than the population at large and we're a profession that serves the population at large um, and we can't serve it to the, the best that we can unless we look more like it. And so it's an area that we have to, have to make um, inroads in and we have to do it through the development of the pipeline so that our, our pools that we're drawing our students from looks more like society as a whole. Um, and we also have to figure out how to make our cultures more inclusive so that when we do get, especially these, these people that are coming now, uh, where they, they truly are much more of a minority within the school than they are within society as a whole, that they feel that that's a very welcoming environment um, to them. And so those are the things that we really have to work on, making our cultures and our environments more welcoming and more inclusive, while at the same time increasing the pipeline so that the pools of students that we're drawing our students from um, just looks like society and therefore will reflect um, society more than it does today.